As the Queen's baton travels through the Pacific, there is no escaping the coconut tree. They are everywhere. Here in the Solomon Islands, they provide more than just a welcome shade. We know you can eat and drink it, but here, copra, the dried flesh of the coconut, keeps the port in the capital, Honiara, busy. This is lighter. Yeah. This one's better. <laughs> the oil comes out of the knives, as you can see, dropping out there now. Originally from Australia, John has lived in the Solomon Islands for 18 years. A, um, Recently, he's managed to use the country's bountiful coconuts to strike oil. Eight years ago, diesel was so high a price that we were running out of it and I needed to run my engines and, and my truck and that in uh, coconut oil. And if we harvested every coconut that was under the tree, we wouldn't be dependent on aid donors and we would be nearly independent on uh, renewable energy for our power supply. Back home in Scotland right now, oh. it's absolutely freezing. Could I use that at home? No. Only you can use it at home providing you preheat it. But on the islands, it could be a perfect match, especially as harvesting coconuts is work that already includes many communities. So do your family work with the copra as well? Yeah, they just produce copra and sell it to some small outlets there in the village. Do you think, do you think the copra will be important for the Solomon Islands in the future? Yeah, very important. It was time to put this natural oil to the test. This um, bulldozer has been running for 10 years on coconut oil. We've processed ourselves. It's a man's dream to have a, a machine. It's every boy's dream to have a bulldozer. That I still find incredible. The coconut, as big a nut as it is, can power a beast like this. That's right. And if production of the fuel goes mainstream, then farmers like Jack Chotu could really help drive the economy. They export it to Philippines, then Philippines convert it to oil or make soap or send it to Singapore to make cooking oil. Now that we've got these factories in town for making oil, it's easier for us farmers, we just sell it to them. We can see the quality of oil and we feel proud about it, that it's our oil. From cutting the coconut to drink the nice good water, cooking the copper to make oil, putting the oil in your car and you drive around with it. So it's coming from the tree all the way down back to your car in a cycle. Of course, to get power from a coconut, does involve some hard graft. No, 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 harder than that. <laughs> One chop and it should split open. Okay. That's it. Coconuts used to be a major trading commodity for the Solomon Islands. Now that copra is a viable biofuel, there could be an opportunity for the islanders to become a lot more self-sufficient. The search for renewable energies is a global one but a local solution relies on whatever resources are here, and what they've got is coconut trees. Having travelled through 11 of the nations and territories of the Commonwealth with the Queen's Baton Relay, I've seen a rich variety of natural resources. Using what is available on people's doorsteps seems like the smart solution to power our future. <laughs>